Can Octopus scrape email addresses? That's the question we will try to answer in this video. Hi, if you do not know me, I'm Franek and over a year I have created some Octopus tutorials so I might have some pieces of advice to share with you. And the short answer to our question is absolutely not. But as often it's not black and white so maybe we can deepen our analysis a bit further. Plus I can't make like a 30 seconds video like that, it won't be correct. What's important to understand is that Octopus is not a crawler. I mean it's a crawler but it's a crawler you build on your own usually. And that is the reason why usually you can't really scrape email addresses because in most cases when you are visiting a website you do not really know beforehand where the the email address is located, right? You cannot really automate that process, at least not easily. You need more advanced crawlers for that task. I mean, obviously there are some exceptions. For example, we can sometimes look at email addresses from mail to links on any website. I'm sorry, I didn't find a real example, but I found something similar for a website. See, here is written website, but if I do a right click, and I click on inspect, I might be able to retrieve the email address. I click on the link and the link is correct. But this is a minor exception, we won't go far with it. However, something that can be more interested is to find out if there is a solution to scrape emails from Google Maps. Because the problem is like this, with Google Maps we can easily retrieve basic information like websites for numbers or address. But in order to retrieve the email address we have to visit the website and use an advanced crawler in order to retrieve what looks like an email address so something at something Dot com, for example. And this is a perfect opportunity for me to introduce to you the templates. Please be careful about Octopus templates. Maybe I shouldn't tell you that. Most Octopus templates are simply not working. So the rule here is to try it out and to see if it's working, right? But at least if the crawler is working, we will then have access to the advanced crawler we were looking for. So I tap Google Maps and I can filter by relevance, by popularity maybe. I don't know what's the difference between the two. Google Maps email finder. I click on it, blah, 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 some explanations. Okay, so the input is something like this, meaning a Google Maps listing URL. Here it's Air Salon in San Francisco. In my case, I will take restaurant near Nashville, Tennessee. I click on start, I insert my URL, task name, task group. I click on start. I click on standard mode and let's see if things are working. A new pop-up has just appeared. At this very moment, we are scrolling to the bottom of the page 10 times, 12 times, 14 times and so on. If I take a look at the show browser, it's not working. Obviously, it's not working because we have access to that pop-up so that we cannot scroll down to the bottom of the page properly. What an idiot. So now we are visiting the first URL, but this website is protected by a cloth flare, so we weren't able to script the email address. To conclude, this template works. I mean, it doesn't work, but it can work if we make some unnecessary changes. And that's so slow. Two lines in over two minutes. Great. Run completed. Three lines. Okay, forget what I've said. It doesn't work completely. So that was the lesson for today. If you want to try out an Octopus template, Template, make sure it is working first. By the way, if you are looking for another way, another way of scraping email addresses at scale on Google Maps, you can go on scrap.io. By clicking the link in the description, you can access to your first 100 leads free of charge. This is the end of the video. If you have enjoyed it, you can subscribe. There is nothing else to see. Bye.